Um, very simple, right? It's a man and a table and a chair. Um, but it's a ride like no other. You know, my son is really into roller coasters, right? Um, great America is like the greatest place on earth for him. Um, in very many ways, it's a utopia, you know, for the 12 year old imagination and, and the physical body. Um, that's kind of what it's like to see a Mike Daisy show, um, to get um, on a ride at the very top, the very um, pinnacle of the drop, and then fall for two hours. It's breakneck speed, it's um, raspy and raw and indomitable and fearless and in complete control of the wind of the tail. You know, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's an extraordinary thing to, to witness. Um, and, and anybody that's able to hold anybody's attention for two hours straight is worthy of merit. And it's kind of like not an accident that Mike Daisy has gotten this far. He's a master at what he does. They love to talk about the gold standard. That's <laughs> true. There was a time when everyone knew with your dollar bills, you, you, you could march right down to the treasury. And you could walk in there, and you could give them it all and exchange them for gold. You could walk in and say, ah, I demand my gold. Ah! And they'd say, oh my god, it's another fucking libertarian. Hold on. Fucking wait. Put out your hand. seems to work in a way that's in the moment, improvisational, um, and at the very same time, it's like a tome. It's like um, biblical and epic. It's Homeric, you know, in the kind of, in the tone, in the length, and the density of the storytelling, right? You know, it's like, um, you know, there's certain folks that I play dominoes with that, you know, that can spin a story for five minutes, for ten minutes. You know, Mike Daisy is one of those people that, you know, may never play the domino because he's, <laughs> but, but he's keeping you entertained, you know, the entire time. And, you know, part of the entertainment, I think, and, and maybe one of the things that I'm drawn to um, is the kind of parabolic, elliptical way that the stories take shape, that they weave um, around one another. That even though we move from one place to, um, to another in terms of the narrative, um, we stay in a place of tension that's very rare, you know? Um, and it's, you know, it's the kind of um, narrative narcotic that you just don't see in the American theater. 